Okay, in this video, I wanna talk about deleting and renaming branches. So this is something you probably won't need to do all that often, early on at least, but if you work uh, professionally or you work on a large project where there's tons of branches uh, and you are constantly making new branches and then merging them in, again, we haven't talked about merging, but it's really common to work on something and then merge it in. You don't wanna just have this extra branch for no reason. So you can delete them. Let's talk about how you delete a branch. Uh, you use the git branch command. Git branch does a lot. We've seen it shows us a list of branches. It also creates a new branch. And we can delete using git branch with the dash D option. So dash D or dash dash delete deletes a branch. Now it tells us this message here, it must be fully merged, blah, blah, blah. We will learn more about what this means shortly. We haven't talked about merging. Um, but if I try and delete one of these branches, for example, let's make a new branch. So I'll go full screen here. Uh, where are we? We are on empty playlist. It's an empty branch. Let's go to, I don't know, the George's branch. So git switch George's. And then let's make a new branch and I'll use our single line version, git switch dash C to create a new branch. And I'm gonna call it delete me because I, you know, I wanna delete it. <laughs> okay, so we're on this new branch, delete me. And to delete it, I use the dash D option on git branch. So let's try it, git branch dash D, and then I specify the branch to delete, which is delete me. I'm gonna run into a problem I can't delete the branch I'm checked out at, or the one that I'm viewing, right? I'm on delete me, I can't delete it. So if I switch branches, let's do git switch master, and I try running that again, now I get a different message. It's not fully merged. If you are sure you want to delete it, run git branch dash uppercase D, which is equivalent to adding in the dash dash force option. In other words, allow deleting the branch irrespective of its merged status. So in this case, that's fine. Uh, you know, you wanna be confident in what you're deleting and that you actually do want to delete it because without GitHub, without any sort of backup, which we don't have at this point in time, if I had a lot of work on this branch and I actually delete it, it's gone. But for this demonstration, I'm fine deleting it. So git branch uppercase D, delete me. And now it's gone. So we can see here, there is no delete me branch. All right. Now, another thing we might wanna do is rename a branch. And this is something we definitely will be doing uh, when we get to GitHub. If we could rename our master branch to main uh, to play well with GitHub. But also it's a common thing to do uh, if you're unhappy with a branch name or you just wanna change it and give it a better name. The way that we do it is somewhat hard to remember. Uh, we use git branch, the same command. However, the flag or the option that we use is dash M. And that seems somewhat confusing. It doesn't, you know, it should be dash R for rename or dash N for name, but it's actually dash M for move, but it's move slash rename. So all that we do, if we want to rename a branch, is first change to the branch that we want to rename. So this is kind of confusing because to delete a branch, we had to go anywhere else but that branch. We could not delete from the branch. But to rename, you have to be on the branch. Again, it's just kind of weird, but you don't have to do this that frequently. So what branch should I rename? How about instead of recent-ish music, uh, I just wanna rename it to 2000s. So music from the 2000s, because recent-ish implies something somewhat, you know, pretty recent, but maybe I want anything from the 2000s. So I'm gonna switch, git switch, and I'll do checkout this time just to mix it up, show you both work. Recent-ish music, I switched, okay. And now I'm gonna rename it with git branch dash M, and then my new name, which will be 2000s, okay. And we can see already it changed to 2000s over here. If I type git status on branch 2000s, git log, we see that head is pointing to 2000s as the, the branch name. It's the same branch that I was on before. The same two Phoebe Bridgers songs uh, are here, but it's been renamed from recent-ish music to 2000s. So I'll do, I guess, one more commit. Here are two songs by a great group called Motorat, and uh, I will go ahead and commit, 
dash a dash m just to do it in one go add to odorette songs all right and so that only exists on the 2000s branch it no longer is called recent ish songs or recent ish music okay so that's how you can rename a branch it's dash m uh where are you where did i do it right here it's somewhat confusing but it works it stands for move and then we have dash d to delete a branch two operations you may not need to do all that often certainly not right now but good to know about